Hello everybody, today I'm going to be fixing these jeans and be darning this hole in these uh, 501s with a uh, home sewing machine. Uh, vintage 501s made in USA, and the hole is in a kind of uh, not fashionable place. So, Okay, first of all, you don't have to get a, a darning foot, but it will save you from ending your own life. It is uh, pretty universal to the best of my knowledge. Um, and just slides in that bolt, and it makes it so you don't have to press the reverse function every time you want to go back, um, and you can move freely, and it it's amazing. Okay, so find a blue, or whatever color your pants are, that is uh, similar to your pants, your whatever, um, load it up in the machine. Um, use I, I, For this, there's a lot of white in these jeans, so I'm using white as the bobbin. Um, and I'm using jean needles, denim needles. Um, they they won't bend, they won't break as much. They will, but it'll save your life. Okay, now you're going to want to trim all the excess, especially the white, because it will show through. Um, it's going to feel a little counterintuitive to be cutting more of it, but um, um, I've learned the hard way. you just got to cut all the fray. Okay, so feed your jean on there. Um, get it loaded up, and then we're going to start. Okay, so we're going to start weaving the new fabric, essentially, into the jean. So we're going to go down on one side, make sure the needle's all the way up so it can pull freely and then go down into the other. And then up all the way so it can pull the thread freely, and then back down. And we're just sort of creating a weave here. Um, I don't, my cameraman is on vacation, and I can't put the camera on the table because it will shake um, like crazy, and see that that, that one, the, the needle wasn't all the way up, so it wouldn't pull. Okay, so we're going to keep going back and forth, back and forth, and it's a bit tedious, and you're just going to want to keep pulling the uh, the jeans apart, and, and if, because it's just going to want to yank it closer and closer to each other and if it does go ahead cut a thread you can start over whatever um, just make sure to keep pulling because you, you will see I don't pull enough and, and you'll, you'll see what happens okay so now at this end these the edges are really close to each other and I don't really need to re-thread so I'm just gonna sort of put my foot all the way down and just go back and forth and back and forth and back and forth. It has enough to hold on to over here, um, so I don't need to make those threads. I should be pulling um, apart while I'm doing this, um, and, and you'll, you'll see why later. Um, okay, so we've created a bit of, of uh, fabric over there, so now we're going to go in the other direction. Same deal, other direction. I don't know what I'm doing there. Again, it, I, I don't, I'm not a, a pro at this. You will see it is not perfect. Some people can do it, and it is almost um, uh, indiscernible from the original thing. That is not me. You, you, there is a machine that is um, made especially for this. Um, and if you Google vintage Singer darning machine, you will see why I don't own one. Um but if you have $5,000 to spend on a sewing machine, by all means. Okay, now so that we're getting into the, to the fun part. You're just going to, you know, full throttle, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And so I didn't say this. You have to be on, on the straight stitch here uh, when you're doing this. And... But the stitch length doesn't matter. The thing with the, 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 this foot is the stitch length is just determined um, by how fast you're moving. And so you want to move slowly. You're trying to mimic the stitch length of the jeans, which is a pretty tightly, uh, pretty, pretty small stitch. It's, you, you just look closely. You'll be able to see the contrast when you look um, at your... Jeans. So yeah, you're just going to want to go back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Um, and then you're going to want to turn and do the same thing in the other direction. 
um, and, and you, you'll see it, it's starting to bunch up a bit, and I'm, I'm, you can see where it's uh, where it's doing that, and I, I'll, I'll try to pull, but you really have to, um, you really gotta be mindful of that. Um, so now you'll see my hand is in the way for a lot of this, um, but I'm trying to now go in the direction of the denim. Um, and it and it does make a, a, a bit of difference. It does look a bit natural. You really do want to go slowly, though, um, or else the, the stitch length is just much too long and, and it doesn't look natural. That being said, it, this, it, this works. Um, I'm not that great at it, but it really does work quite well. And you can have you can you, you can do whatever you want with this. It isn't a science, and um, you know have fun with colors and and stuff. But um, you know it, if you're gonna really like just have fun with it, if you're not trying to uh, make it not noticeable, I think it's much more practical to go with a patch, put the patch under or on top, and just do this around the, the edges where the um, two pieces of denim overlap and then you can do it in the middle if you want I mean that that just is a, a more practical way of doing it um, and if you're not concerned about it sticking out then you you may as well this is this is really the way to do it if, if you want it to look quite natural obviously you could do this with you know red or black or whatever um, I yeah you can do whatever you want um, so yeah, so this portion I did for um, about 10 minutes in this direction, probably about the same in the other direction as well. Um, and so here we are. I've done this commentary multiple times w without recording on purpose, so um, it's it feels like I'm not recording myself right now, which is nice. But um, so there we go. It it looks it looks fine. If the the color of the thread was exact, it would look really really good. It's not, so you know it doesn't look all that great. Um, now, ideally, especially if this is on a, a point of stress, you're going to want to go probably about an inch in every direction um, to really sort of mesh into the the denim, um, but. You know, this really isn't that important um, in this spot. And so on the inside, you can see it's white. Um, it looks fine. Okay.